Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cristo Rey Network College Fair. We are so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but we'll be around for the entire session to answer your questions. My name is Sarah, and I'll be the facilitator for today. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items for you. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use, and we encourage you to use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. If you have general questions, that's great. If you have specific uh, questions for uh, a certain institution, go ahead and list that school's name so that way they can get to your questions much quicker. Um, this is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website for more. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com backslash, backslash Cristo-Ray. I'm going to ask all of our presenters to uh, mute themselves and keep their uh, cameras off until it is their turn to speak. Um, and first up, we do have a short video. Welcome to the second annual Cristo Rey Network Virtual College Fair. We congratulate you students and your families for taking the next step in preparing for your college journey by attending today's fair. We're glad that you're here. We give thanks to the special opportunity to connect with many colleges and universities who believe in your future just like we do. These last few years have required quite a bit of resilience and faith from each of you and your teachers, counselors, principals, school leaders, and members of our national office team are so thrilled to see you thrive. Agradecemos esta oportunidad para unirnos con universidades y colegios que creen en sus futuros igual que nosotros. Estos últimos años han requerido mucha fe de parte de cada uno de ustedes y sus padres, consejeros, maestros, directores y miembros de nuestro equipo nacional estamos felices de verlos prosperar. Today your community surrounds you in this virtual college fair with over 25,000 alumni nationwide from 38 schools and currently over 12,000 students in Cristo Rey schools we enjoy the privilege of working for and with 5,000 juniors and seniors like you. We're joined by 95 participating colleges, all invested in your future. Some of these colleges have been partnering with us since 2009. You'll have the opportunity to connect with dozens of these colleges and partake in one of two Financial Aid 101 sessions, one in Spanish and one in English. Since all sessions will be recorded and available to you on YouTube, you won't miss a thing. Now don't forget about the Ask Me Anything open forums. There are two options, one at 6 p.m. Central on Wednesday and another at 2 p.m. Central on Saturday. These are your opportunities to ask anything of an admissions representative. We want you to leave this fair confident and empowered to start your college journey. Thank you all for your commitment to the classes of 2023 and 24. Parents, guardians, students, college counselors, and college representatives. Agradecemos a todos por su apoyo de las clases del 2022 y 2023. Padres, consejeros, maestros, directores, y especialmente los representantes universitarios que nos acompañan esta semana. Viva Cristo Rey. Viva Cristo Rey. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter, University of Notre Dame. You are muted. Hello and welcome. My name is Dontavius Seaborn. Um, I am the Senior Associate Director of Admissions at the University of Notre Dame. And a little bit about us today. Um, so we were started in 1842 by a French priest named Father Soren, who felt that he wanted to do education a lot different than most institutions. He wanted to make sure that we not only educated the mind, but the heart and the spirit. And that is one of the key factors about the University of Notre Dame. University of Notre Dame does 75 majors across our institution that are represented in four colleges and two schools. And we do 75 very intentional things. I know a lot of institutions will talk about the many multiple majors that they have. 
But at our institution, we believe that the 75 majors that we have are key to our region, but not only key to our region, but key to the things that we want to individualize at our school that align with our mission. You'll hear a little bit about innovation when it comes to our institution. Innovation is going to be found in not only our College of Engineering, but our College of Science. Our College of Engineering is going to be an institution that is not just the institute model, which is typically only technicalization, but also the, mixed with the liberal arts model, which is the theory and simplicity of engineering. So you'll find both of these within our engineering programs. And you'll also find that our College of Sciences is a standalone college and is only for undergraduate students, which prioritize research and hands-on experiences that directly correlate to the industry. Our School of Architecture is going to be known as our five-year program that ensures our students an opportunity to go abroad for a year in Rome. I mean, who doesn't want to study in Rome and who doesn't want a guaranteed opportunity to be prepared for their licensure? You'll hear a lot of opportunities in architecture that are going to be four years, but what a lot of students don't know is through four-year programs, you actually have to study for a full additional year before you can sit for your licensure. So our five-year program is going to guarantee our students the opportunity to leave and go directly into the industry and go directly for their licensure. Our College of Business is known as Mendoza's College of Business. It was ranked five years in a row by Forbes before they stopped that ranking of college businesses. And since then, we have been doing not only contemporary styles of business, but the kinds of business that you will find more in the pandemic. Most tech companies have acquired business companies and business assets. And with that being said, you will notice that all of our business majors have to take a coding course. You may not find this at other institutions, but this is something very unique to our business college. Last but not least, you'll have our School of Global Affairs, which is our Keo School of Global Affairs. It is a brand new college at our institution, and it is a place where our students will not only be able to study politics and um, uh, work for the foreign embassies or any of those things, but then you'll also find our College of Arts and, Sci Arts and Letters, sorry about that, will have an array of majors um, from philosophy to television, um, film and arts design and things of that nature. So one of the key things I tell a lot of students about the University of Notre Dame is that our college is in South Bend, but our institution is a classroom all throughout the world. Uh, we, let in, we let students at our institution study from one week up into one year abroad. You have majors like the School of Architecture that are going to allow our students to study overseas for a full year, but you do have majors like our business students who will be able to go to France and London and study business for a semester. Outside of that, a little bit about some data about our school. 98% of our students actually um, are retained from their first year to our second year. And we actually have a 95% graduation rate at our institution. 75% of our students are going to be able to participate in not only research, but internships or both. Another key thing about our institution is that we have a 98% placement rate. So we're very individualized to the point where we want our students to be able to enter the industry or into a graduate school, things like PhD, things like med school. And by the way, our pre-health, which is a supplemental major at our institution, has a 98% placement rate in med school. So we are the preeminent institution located in the Midwest, and we are also ranked in the top 20 colleges and universities across the entire U.S. Outside of that, something that is very big about our institution is our notable alumni and our alumni clubs. One of the most, the biggest things that we talk a little bit about the University of Notre Dame is going to be our ROI. We actually have, across all of our majors, an average salary of $72,000. With that being said, we're ranked in the top three as institutions who alumni say that they felt that they had the most value degree and the highest ROI. Outside of that, a little bit about our universities. We're very hands-on. A lot of institutions will not talk a lot about their student experience or their rigor at the same time, but I want to let you know that you will equally work hard and play hard at our institution. We have a great student experience, and I'm really going to be very focused and intentional about that when I say you will never see a residential campus like the University of Notre Dame. We randomly select our students to go into 32 residential halls and to be represented as one of the 50 states and 70 countries across our institution. This means that you will not only see that a lot of our students 
are going to work with each other and prioritize getting to know new people, not from their background, but you're also going to notice the faith piece of our institution. We are the preeminent Catholic institution across the universe, across the entire U.S., but we're for all students that come from every walk of life, whether that's faith tradition or no, or no faith at all. One of the key things you'll also notice about our student body is that we're not only 41% students admitted to our institution and students of color, but we are actually 40% students of color. And this breakdown being between the various races, um, but you will notice that that is the key thing at our institution. If you would like to learn more about the University of Notre Dame, I'm going to be sharing my email um, directly in the chat. And I hope that you will one day want to be a part of our phenomenal and monumental university. Thank you so much, University of Notre Dame. Next up, we have Kettering University. Hello, everybody. And uh, my name is Scott Travis. I'm um, coming to you from Kettering University. Kettering is a uh, primarily an engineering school in Michigan. And uh, about 90% of the students at Kettering are studying engineering. So uh, that is our bread and butter. That's our expertise. We've been doing particularly automotive engineering for over 100 years now. In fact, our entire institution uh, was actually owned by General Motors at one time. Um, so that really kind of uh, that really points to a pedigree uh, in engineering that's uh, that's been long lasting. We're located in Flint. Uh, we are about 60 miles north of Detroit. Um, our campus is actually on the site of the original Chevrolet factory. Um, you can see certainly that the campus has changed a lot since those days, of course. Uh, but we still hang on to this idea of incorporating very practical work experience together with academics. We have the most extensive and intensive co-op program in the United States. Our students get started freshman year. We operate on quarters. And every other quarter, our students are co-oping. So that amounts to over two years of paid work experience in industries to go along with the academic programs that we offer. So we feature a, a very hands-on approach. Our students, they're not very good spectators, um, for sure. And uh, they, they want to roll up their sleeves. They want to um, get into labs and workshops. Uh, they learn by seeing. They learn visually. They learn um, tactilely. They learn by doing. So we, we feature that type of approach in our labs and workshops. In fact, we just don't, we, we don't have lecture halls on campus. That's simply not um, a tactic that we use in education. Our students, they don't really wanna sit in 400 seat auditoriums. They wanna be um, on the proving grounds. Like, uh, like for example, we see in the, the top center picture, they wanna be in the crash test lab. They wanna be in the robotics centers. Um, they, they actually get a much better understanding of their academics by seeing what it's good for, what, what those academics are gonna to point towards, what kind of careers that can be developed out of those, uh, those activities. We feature nine different programs. We know what we like, we know what we're good at, and we primarily just stick with that. Um, and we take all the resources of our university and we pull them into these STEM oriented fields. And these fields, we teach these fields because they're marketable, because we work with over 400 different companies in our co-op program. And these are the fields that these companies favor. These are the fields these companies are going to hire into. Um, and it's very forward oriented. So our students, they're not just preparing for for careers that are available today, they're preparing for, for careers that are gonna be available five years from now, 10 years from now. Um, and, and, and we actually get quite a lot of investment from our co-op partners uh, because our students are just gonna have that many advantages uh, as, as graduates. So the students, they're earning quite a lot of money in their co-op program as well. You can see here in the graphic, they're earning between 45 and $70,000 in co-op earnings by the time they graduate. So that's a lot different from an internship. An internship doesn't really show a lot of investment. 
Uh, the companies here though, if they're paying our students up to $70,000, um, that's substantial. That, that shows that uh, the companies that we work with, they want our graduates. These are some of the companies that we work with, uh, over 400 global enterprises, um, startup companies, small companies. There's a really strong entrepreneurial mindset here on campus as well. Um, it probably goes without saying that our students, they favor a very innovative approach, as do these companies, uh, and they're problem solvers. That's what these companies are looking for. We offer scholarships to a number of student organizations where students also are proving that they're problem solvers, that they're working collaboratively um, in a number of different fields. And, uh, you know, they, they have kind of not an individual nose to the grindstone, I'll hack through this academic work by myself, but rather kind of a, a group approach where students are working together with students from different disciplines. Um, and with, from, with professionals in different disciplines as well to, to move both a university project, but also a corporate project towards, uh, towards its goal. So these are some of the rankings that we're most proud of. Uh, we really shine when it comes to return on investment. You can imagine that students that are graduating, not just with a very prestigious engineering or business degree, um, but also over two years of paid work experience in the field. And then the networking that they're getting, they're meeting people in industries as they go. So most of our students, they have job offers in their back pocket before they ever finish their degree program. So the proof's in the pudding, right? So the Wall Street Journal ranks us number one nationally for career preparation. So at Kettering University, we feel very, very strongly that we want to present a good academic portfolio and strong academics, but we also take it as a very serious responsibility to prepare our students professionally. After all, uh, it's about getting a job at the end of the day. So I hope to hear from you. Take care. Thank you so much. Next up, we have College of Worcester. All right, well, I will get right into it. I know we're kind of short on time, so I will begin my presentation. Well, thank you, first of all, for, for having me. My name is Alex Dominguez. I'm here representing the College of Worcester. Before I begin with the presentation, just to kind of give you um, an idea of where we are, we're in Northeast Ohio, about an hour south of Cleveland, an hour and a half northeast of the state capital of Columbus, and about two and a half hours um, west of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So pretty central to a few major cities, um, not too far from us. Again, I said, my name is Alex Dominguez. I am a senior assistant director of the mission, also the coordinator of multicultural recruitment. Um, it's great to be able to connect with you all virtually. And if you have any questions, concerns, email us right there. I will include it in the chat as well, so you have it. But to kind of have a condensed presentation and just highlight what I think makes Worcester Worcester, I think we can narrow it down into these three bullet points right here. First, we like to think of ourselves as a very global and inclusive campus environment. You know, we do have students from all over the country, all over the world, and we really value this idea that students have, you know, similar experiences, similar likeness, and they get to really share and relish in that. But at the same time, acknowledge, respect, and, and look forward to connecting with students from different shared experiences and, and different backgrounds. And I think because of that, it makes it such an inclusive and welcoming campus environment. Second, our connected learning experience really allows students to prepare themselves for life after Worcester. We have a great uh, four-year program that prepares students for if they go right into the workforce, if they go on to graduate school. We want students to get that well-rounded education and to, to really feel like they're being springboarded onto the next step of their life after they leave the college. And third, we like to think of ourselves as America's premier college for mentored undergraduate research. And we're an undergraduate only institution. Um, we're also a liberal arts college, but nonetheless, we still have an extensive amount of research-based education, educational experiences, 
uh, opportunities for students throughout their four years. And it really culminates with a student's final year with our senior independent study experience. I will uh, touch base on each of these three points a little bit as the presentation goes on, but these are the three main points that I really want students to, to take away from this presentation and as they continue on their college search process. All right. So just to give some background information, we are a smaller school with 2,000 total undergraduate students, again, undergraduate only. Uh, I mentioned having a global inclusive environment. Um, our international population is actually 17% of our student body, which makes us the most international school by percentage in the state of Ohio and 16th in the nation. So it's great to see that students from, from all over the world, all over the country with 48 states being represented and 70% of the undergraduate population domestically. Um, are coming from places outside of the state of Ohio, which when you think about you know, Northeast rural Ohio, it's not really the first destination that comes to mind for students, for families, yet that is a bulk of where our students are coming from. So they obviously are, are getting a great connection through the college search process. They're having a great experience when they get here and they're connecting with their faculty members, with their peers to have a, a, a really well-rounded four-year experience. Now, I'm a very visual person. I like to kind of see how the numbers look on a map or just visually laid out like this. Um, and each one of these points kind of highlights where a student is coming from. So it's, it's nice that it really is spread across the globe. You know, students are represented on campus by more than 70 countries. And it's not just one country or one pocket of countries that students are coming from. We have students from Latin America, from South America, from the Middle East, from Europe, from Asian countries, Africa. So it's nice that it's really spread in a really um, diverse student body. And we do have over 120 clubs and organizations, so plenty of ways for students to really get involved on campus uh, outside of the traditional classroom setting. One third of our students compete on a varsity athletic team, another quarter of our students in theater and dance, and another third of our students in a music ensemble or an acapella group. So um, this idea of a well-rounded college experience is something that we really value Obviously, we want students to succeed in the classroom, but what are those other experiences that they're getting outside of the classroom as well? Now, I do want to highlight our Center for Diversity and Inclusion. We really value this idea of intentional and personalized attention and, and resources and help for students. And our CDI, for example, has four different offices within the Center for Diversity and Inclusion. So if students need any personal help with multicultural student services or international student services, sexual, uh, sexuality and gender inclusion. It's nice that they have dedicated spaces, offices, staff members, and students that are encompassed in these, um, um, in these departments within our Center for Diversity and Inclusion. Now this idea of a connected learning experience at the College of Worcester, again, kind of in four and four blocks. One, the actual major that a student focuses on, the mentored undergraduate research aspect of things, the experiential learning experiences outside of the traditional classroom setting, and a newer program we have uh, created called Pathways, which kind of combines classroom experiences with a reflection piece and experiential learning experiences as well. And we do have over 100 areas of study to choose from, some majors, minors, pre-professional advising in dentistry, engineering, law, health, and architecture. And it's great that students really get to personalize their education throughout their four years. Now, I do want to briefly talk about this idea of why we're America's premier college for mentored undergraduate research. Now, I mentioned that it culminates with the student's senior independent study experience. Well, this essentially is a class of one. So a student typically has four classes per semester. One of those classes in their senior year is working with a professor one-on-one -on -one to create organize and just conceive their own original research project, which I think is incredibly beneficial for students to have. Alex, thank you so much. We do have to move on to the next presenter, but if you want to throw some information in the chat for participants today or participants, if you have questions for any of our presenters, go ahead and put those in the Q&A box so our presenters can get to those throughout, uh, throughout our session. So moving on, um, we will go next to Mount Mercy University. Hello everyone, my name is Jared Hall. I am one of the uh, freshman admissions counselors here at Mount Mercy University. I am also the um, assistant coach for the men's and women's volleyball team. So with that being said, let's get started. So 
So here at Mount Mercy, um, transforms and uh, inspire lives through uh, knowledge, service, and opportunity. Um, we were founded in 1928 by the Sisters of Mercy and then home to nearly 1,600 students. And then with that being said, we have students from all around the world and even the country too. So the benefits of our education, average class size, 20 to 25 students. Um, we really focus on that liberal arts core curriculum. Um, only uh, real requirement that we have is that you take one religion course before you graduate from Mount Mercy. So you can take that your first semester of your freshman year or your last semester of your senior year or even in between. Uh, close relationship with our faculty. So our faculty, they have that open door policy. So they don't want to just know you as a student. They want to get to know you as a person. So they'll honestly reach out to you and ask you how your day is going. Um, and if you need anything, just kind of just reach out to them too as well. And then with us being such um, a, uh, a close campus and a close knit community, they might even have you uh, babysit their kids, honestly, um, to uh, get some extra side money on that. And then we have this experiential learning. So each student is required to get an internship before they graduate. Um, we have study abroad opportunities um, to Tanzania, England. A lot of students like the trip to Ireland. And then uh, that service learning aspect is built into our curriculum as well. So on campus, we have about 45 plus uh, majors um, and minors. And then uh, top left, if you, as you see in the, uh, the corner, um, average class size. Um, we have various labs on campus. One I like to point out is this nursing simulation lab right here. And then with that being said, uh, you go in there with your advisor, two to three other students do some hands-on work and then walk you through some real world scenarios as well. Another one is our exercise science, one of our newest majors. Um, on campus, so you'll actually go in there with our athletic trainers, um, do some hands-on work with that one as well, too. And then with that being said, work with our various sports teams. Um, some things I like to highlight on this page is the degree in three. So um, for our business program, you actually have the opportunity to um, get your degree in three years. And by that third, um, but by that fourth year, with that being said, you can actually start uh, working on classes geared towards your master's degree. So student resources on campus, diversity, equity, and inclusion is really big here at Mount Mercy. Um, we actually just built a new JEDI room. So it's our justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion room for our minority students on campus. Um, it's just a great way to just kind of just debrief, relax, and just kind of just talk without feeling the uh, constant pressure or stress um, of, you know, the higher ups. Fitness center on campus. So we have our Lundy Fitness Center and they do like yoga, tai chi and kickboxing. And then we also have our updated facility, the rack where our trainers are too as well. If you're thinking about being a student athlete, wellness is really big here on campus too. So um, around finals time, we'll do different events. And then with that being said, my favorite event when I was a student here at Mount Mercy was um, we brought in a petting zoo and you saw like chickens and llamas like running outside. So it was pretty cool. Um, Academic Center for Excellence, um, that's our ACE Center, that we call it for short, um, that's where our tutoring services are, and then um, most students, uh, high school students who are using MLA with a little bit of APA, but we are big on research based, so we use that APA format style, that ACE Center can actually help you uh, format those papers into that APA style, and then those tutoring services are free of charge. Um, healthcare, we do have a nurse on campus, so if you couldn't reach your parents, um, she's just right across the hall in our, from our admissions office here at Mount Mercy University, and counseling services are there for you all four years and even after you graduate. But that first year, um, if you do decide to attend Mount Mercy, I'll be working directly with you. Uh, career services there for you once again, too, as well um, on campus and even after you graduate. And then the cool thing about Mount Mercy, um, you know, in the winter times, we have tunnels that connect to each building on campus. So with that being said, you do not have to walk outside when it gets cold. You can use the tunnels and you can wear shorts and flip flops all year round. Uh, living on campus, our residence halls, uh, we have two main halls for freshmen. So we have Macaulay Hall and Regina Hall. Um, the benefits of uh, living on campus, you have free laundry, free parking, uh, free Wi-Fi, cable, and printing. Um, eating on campus, our Macaulay Dining Center is our main dining center. So you have uh, unlimited breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then once you come to Mount Mercy um, on your student ID card, you'll get $100 free of charge that you can use at Hilltop Grill. It's like a little mini mart that we have on campus. And then one that's not listed is basil beans. That's like Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts if you like coffee. Uh, getting involved, um, 40 plus um, clubs and organizations. And then once again, cool thing about college is if you don't like it, you don't have to go back. I want you to truly find out um, what you truly want to do. 
And then with that being said, you're not just limited to what's your major. Um, the clubs that are limited, the clubs that are towards your major, um, I want you to explore all of your options. I'm sorry about that. Um, athletic scholarships, we do offer those for our various sports. And these are our facilities, so our Hennessy Recreation Gym, um, our Robert Plastic Athletic Complex. And I can never say that word, but um, we call it our RAC Center. Um, we do offer um, fine arts scholarships as well. And then Faith and Volunteering is here uh, big at Mount Mercy too as well. So if that's something that you might be interested in, you can also get involved. Um, standard admissions process, uh, 2.75 automatic and then uh, test optional here at Mount Mercy too. So we either look at your GPA or ACT. And then if you don't meet those, students are evaluated on an individual basis. Uh, visit grant of $1,000 really pushing on that. And then we do um, accept outside scholarships as well too. And then apply, our application process is free. Following that FAFSA, making a choice, deposit and registering. And then if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll include my contact in the chat. Great, thank you so much. Mount Mercy University. Next up, the Ohio State University. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Hello from Ohio. Uh, we are the seventh most popular state in the United States. Uh, my name is Antonio Serrano. I am one of 25 outreach and recruitment specialists that are scouring the United States and the globe to find the top students to come and share in the Buckeye experience here at The Ohio State University. Um, sorry, I got to set my timer. So here we go. All right, let's kick it off. Um, so Ohio State University or The Ohio State University, we're commonly called Ohio State or OSU. Uh, we are the public land grant research university of the state of Ohio, and we're located in Columbus, Ohio. One thing to remember is that The Ohio State University is one of the world's largest and most comprehensive public schools in the country. And we are among the best public universities in the United States. Founded in 1870, our original mission was uh, as a land grant university was in agricultural sciences. And that's something that we still hold true today. We are focused on agricultural sciences, but we have developed into so much more. So there is literally almost nothing you can't study at The Ohio State University. Um, over 200 plus majors, 500 minors that you can get involved in. You know, we welcome freshmen to start at Ohio State. Uh, whether it's with AP courses, IB courses, college credit plus or dual enrollment classes, you can start with credit at Ohio State. Um, we do have a lot of students at OSU, uh, but we also have a lot of faculty to support that student. So you'll see um, 18 to one student teacher ratio and almost 80% of your freshman classes are gonna be fewer than 50 students. So that misconception of every class is gonna be huge at Ohio State um, is definitely that a uh, misconception. All right, so you'll see on the screen now, there's a lot of great rankings that you can take a look at. Um, but one of the things that really sets us apart from other universities is the fact that our teachers are not only undergraduate teachers. They are also researchers, they're CEOs, they're executives. Um, and these are people with real world experiences bringing that into the classroom. So imagine yourself in a classroom with not only top researchers and um, faculty, but students that are really going to engage you and push you to be the best version of yourself. Um, lots of opportunities at Ohio State. If you are academically gifted, we would love for you to consider our honors program. Um, about 25% of our population is going through our honors program. Um, our middle 50% of test scores at Ohio State is right around that 1330 to 1460. Um, but we are a test optional school. So think about that as you are being strategic on your applications. Um, so also another thing to remember about Ohio State, uh, our hometown, Columbus, Ohio, um, it's the you know, 14th largest city in the United States. It provides a wonderful backdrop for our students um, in the sense that, you know, on a Friday afternoon when you get done with classes, if you want to head downtown, it's only about 10 minutes away from where our campus is um, in the university district part of Columbus. Uh, but 10 minutes away, you have major Fortune 500 companies, you have musical theater and theater, lots of the arts, professional sports teams, uh, amazing restaurants. We are a really big foodie town. And so students really enjoy the backdrop and the city of Columbus um, to, as their playground and as their um, launching pad for their careers. Um, right around the university district, there's lots of housing. We do have fraternities and sororities at Ohio State. Um, at 
we do also require our freshmen to live on campus, freshmen and sophomores. So about 17,000 students that live on our main campus in Columbus, uh, more than 1,300 clubs and activities at Ohio State. So if you're bored at OSU, uh, that's on you. There is really nothing you can't do at The Ohio State University. Um, lots of things to keep you engaged on campus, but also off campus. We are a tier one research university. So whether you're going into the biomedical sciences, technology, engineering, agricultural or environmental sciences, you will have some high level research, over a hundred plus study abroad options for you to get involved in going abroad if that's something that interests you. Um, so really take a look at all those different opportunities as you're weighing your options for your college experience. Our application process is pretty streamlined. We use one application, and that is the common application. Um, we hope you would apply by November 1st. November 1st is our early action deadline, but it's also our scholarship deadline. So if you're looking to be rewarded for the hard work that you put into high school, encourage you to get that common application submitted by November, November 1. So what is a complete application? It is that submission of the common app but it's also the submission of your high school transcripts and the application fee. Those are the only three things that we require, the common application, the application fee or fee waiver, and your high school transcripts. We are test optional. If you have a test score that you think reflects your ability, go ahead and use it in your uh, application process. If you think your test score does not reflect your ability, then go test optional for Ohio State. Letters of recommendation are also optional. You know, sometimes counselors don't know their students, right? And if that's the case for you, it doesn't really help your application at all. But if you can get a counselor or a teacher to really shed some more light onto your academic background, into your engagement in high school, feel free to send us some uh, recommendations and we will use it in our process. Um, quickly talk about scholarships. We have a really unique diversity scholarship that's called the Morrill Scholarship Program. The Murrell Scholarship Program covers full tuition at Ohio State. It's also an academic enrichment program that would require a supplemental essay uh, that you'll see on the Common App. Um, but lots of things to discover at OSU. Check us out at undergrad.osu.edu. Checking out in a Columbus. Thank you so much. Next up, we have Buena Vista University. Hi everyone, one second here. There we go. All right, my name is Janelle Martin. I am the Assistant Director for Admissions here at Buena Vista University. We are a small private university on the shores of Storm Lake um, in Northwest Iowa. So we're about two and a half hours Northwest of the state capital, which is Des Moines. Um, and we have about 12 miles of trails, walking and bike trails almost all the way around the lake. Um, as you can see, it's right out your back door of campus. Um, and the reason why I say we're affordable is because 100% of our students who get accepted into BVU receive financial aid in some form, um, no matter um, your status as well. We have less than 800 students on campus. So if you're a student who's looking forward to getting to know almost everyone on campus, going to sporting events and knowing the athletes, this could definitely be an option for you. Uh, class sizes are small. We have an average of 20. The biggest class size I've ever heard was about 38 students. Um, our biggest classroom only fits 70 students, so you could literally never be in a huge lecture, lecture hall. Um, and we have about 21 um, D3 sports teams on campus, and we just added women's wrestling as well. Um, and we're about 26% diverse, so that means 26% of our population are Black, Indigenous, or other people of color. And to learn a bit more, um, even though we're small, we have all different kinds of clubs and organizations to get involved in. Um, and because we're on the lake, a really nice feature is um, our outdoor rec house. So it's literally a building right, on, right next to the lake. Uh, we have access to the lake and you can check out canoes, kayaks, paddle boards, even ice skating equipment, ice fishing equipment when it's cold outside in the wintertime. Um, you name it in terms of athletic equipment, you can check out just like you check out a library book. So you don't actually pay for it. Um, but there's all kinds of other ways to get involved too. Um, we have a Center for Diversity and Inclusion on campus that has multiple student organizations um, within um, its walls. Um, some of those are based on your major, other those are multicultural, international, um, spiritual. We also have lots of service um, clubs on campus. And BV actually has a full day um, in the year where all the campus shuts down and the entire campus um, does service work, not just on campus, but all over the community. Uh, and Storm Lake is about 13,000 people, 
Um, but even though it's small, it's extremely diverse. So the community itself, um, we speak between 20 to 30 different languages and dialects. Um, so if you're looking for something that's small, safe, but also has that metropolitan feel in terms of diversity, this could be a really great fit for you. Um, but we have also other things too, if you're interested in marching band, pet band, choir, um, if you are an out-of-state student or someone from six hours or more from campus, we have a home away from home program. So we connect you and you basically get a home family, a homestay family, um, even though you're a domestic student, but you could be international too. Um, so we connect you with a family around here in the area. Um, and that way home doesn't feel like it's quite so far away because you have people that can come and support you. Um, and we also, um, our last incoming class was about 40% first generation. Um, so their parents didn't earn a bachelor's degree or higher um, in college. So we now have a first generation mentor program. Um, so if you're first generation, you get paired with an upperclassman who's also a first generation student. So you can get to know the ins and outs of campus by asking someone who's actually your peer instead of feeling like you have to try to find help outside of um, your peers. But you're probably wondering about academics. So we have four different schools on campus. The first one's the School of Science. So a couple of highlights there um, is we have a pre-med program. Um, within the pre-med program or biology, you get access to our cadaver lab, which are bodies donated to science um, and many other labs. So every branch of science has a different lab on campus. As you can see there on the top right, we also have a lab with rats in it where students do research, um, including testing the effects of alcohol on rats. Um, but another really interesting program is our UR Med program or ERMED. Um, it's where we send our students out to our local hospitals and they get to shadow whichever area they want to shadow um, and get one-on-one -on -one experience with those professionals um, to one, see if they like that area, but also to pick their brain and see where they went for their graduate school after the four-year degree at BVU. Um, but we also have other programs listed there too, like athletic training um, and physical therapy, among others. We have a school of education. So fun fact, um, BVU produces the third largest amount of educators in the entire state of Iowa, even though we are a small private school. Um, so we definitely take pride in our education programs. Um, and we're also one of the only schools that has a special education major. Um, but there's all kinds of options there. And we also help our students get licensed outside of the state of Iowa as well. We also have a school of business. Um, one interesting thing about the School of Business is we also have online master's programs that you can actually start. So for example, um, the Master's of Organizational Leadership, you could actually start that program in your senior year and then only have one more year left after you graduate to finish. And so you get out there in the market quicker, making more money. And we have a large School of Liberal Arts as well. Um, some really interesting programs there would be our graphic design programs and communication studies, um, where we have um, nationally acclaimed uh, radio station, TV station, and student newspaper on campus. And we also have a criminology center. Uh, we just added forensic science as an actual major, but within criminology and criminal justice, the center itself has a simulator where you get to be put through simulations of crime scenes and things like that. And the professor can change it up on you. Um, and you actually get like a laser that's weighted just like a gun and everything. So you practice. Um, but then the other half of the building is set up like a house. So you actually get to practice crime scenes the professor will set up a crime scene um, with fake blood and fingerprints, the whole nine yards, and you with a group of two other students actually get to solve those crimes. Um, but we're also really, really big in internships as well. So we have a pool of money on campus it's called an, um, an endowment, and it's set aside specifically for students every year to go and do internships, research, go to conferences, you apply for that funding and you're almost guaranteed to get it. I know some students, for example, who studied abroad for only $200 for two weeks, airfare included. Um, so can't beat that. Um, but here's some other ag programs if you're interested. We have an ag experiment farm six minutes from campus. But in case you are interested in checking out BVU more, our application is totally free. We're test optional, so we do not require the ACT or SAT. Um, and then our students, if you do a virtual or on-campus visit, you get an extra $1,000 per year on top of um, the um, scholarship that you get just by getting accepted. So you can look at GPAs there Great. as well. Thank you so much, Janelle. We are just about out of time with our session today. So I uh, would like to invite all of our um, all of our panelists to join me back on the screen real quick. And if you want to drop in your contact information one more time real quick in the chat, that would be great. Um, thank you all for joining us. And we appreciate your time. Let me get to the slide. So you can see just uh, a few reminders at the very end we have for you. One moment as I am having just 
a few technical difficulties. There we go. Um, so when you close this window, there will be a very quick uh, five question survey. We appreciate any follow up and any feedback you can provide. Don't forget to sign up for more sessions that are going to start very soon. So head back to the website to sign up for more sessions. And this recording will be available at strivescan.com backslash Cristo dash Ray. We hope you've had a great informative session. Thank you again to our panelists and have a great rest of the day.